What's up guys? So today is Thursday, April 23rd. Uh, it is 70 degrees, cloudy, and a bit windy. I just arrived over here at the flip site. It's my first time filming on my new phone. My other one uh, stopped charging like the last one, but let's see if we can turn up some snakes. Let's get to flipping. Oh, ring neck. That one was here the last time. Hold on, I'll show it to you. Too bad I don't have a quarter to compare it to, but as you can tell, it's just a little ring neck. Uh, just a cute little prairie ring neck, yeah. So that's pretty awesome. It's a small little booger compared to some of the others, but. Oh, two ring necks. Wow, okay. I was not expecting that. Two small ones again. They just look like a little baby. Huh. Um, let's see if I can get a picture before they get away. That's pretty cool. Alright guys, this is my second southern copperhead ever. Found my life for last week, but didn't get to record that, unfortunately. Uh, this is a venomous species of snake. Um, in the herbing community, I've heard a lot of people say these are harmless, but they're not harmless. It has a chigger on, on its nose. So, they have uh, hemotoxic venom, which destroys blood cells. Even though the toxicity is not high, people have died because um, because they're allergic to the venom and you know you don't really know if you're allergic until you get bitten but it's pretty interesting it's not even phased by that chigger but i can't get i'm not gonna chance anything not gonna get too close i was looking at this area and i was like this is a very snaky area and i can't flip anything and i just happened to look there and i almost missed it just because of the white there the uh, white uh, plastic oh maybe that's metal no it's plastic that's how i was able to spot this but very beautiful species um, obviously, you know, pe venomous snakes get a bad rap. You know, people kill them for no reason. But look, the snake's not doing anything. It's just mind its own business. And I need to be careful because I've not looked all the way around here. But again, a uh, beautiful venomous snake that it's awesome, man. All right, guys. So I just came back over. Since that wasn't working out, I came over to see if the copperhead was still here. Not only is the copperhead still here from yesterday, that's that one right there. And there's a new one. So <laughs> that's pretty incredible. Um, that's just, that's really awesome. And you can just tell, I mean, that one over here is kind of on the leaves and stuff. So it'd be, you can miss these things. I mean, their camouflage is incredible. And that one definitely has more of the typical Hershey Kisses pattern. And that one does too, but like I say, and it is kind of broken up, which is kind of cool. But um, that one's kind of a, not exactly drab, but that one's more brightly colored, especially on the head has more of a coppery head so very very cool awesome all right guys so i just caught this frog it was on the on the porch and jumped into the bucket of water this is a copes gray tree frog i'll have to look over there to, in the satellite dish and see if this is the same one from earlier i don't don't think it is but all right guys here's another copes gray tree frog this one's by the satellite but it's not the same one it's a different one. I think the other one over there was the same one. So, the light kind of affects. There we go. It's kind of a different pattern on it, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, going to keep looking and keep up on any more. Alright, guys. So, we're out here. We just found a box turtle. I saw a plain belly on the way in. and Here's a little box turtle. You going to close up? Oh, you're nice and warm. Cool. Let me see if we can find anything else. All right, guys, we just found a little decays brown snake right here, kind of on the edge of the water there. So definitely knows we're here. Um, just gonna leave it alone and keep going. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we just flipped this. Uh, he just flipped this uh, little sp uh, smallmouth salamander under a uh, front of a what is that stove? Stove. It's just out here in the middle of nowhere. That so, might be a dishwasher. Yeah, might actually be a dishwasher, but yeah, little small mouse sound and that's pretty cool. We're gonna oops keep looking around and see what we can find. Alright guys, so we just found another uh, small mouse salamander under a rotten log that something's been digging at. So anyways it's pretty cool. And uh we're gonna keep looking around see if we can see anything else. Alright guys so I just spotted this copper head here it's actually a really pretty one too it's just uh sitting here basking so that's really really awesome 
So that's what, the fourth snake for the day? And really cool one too. <laughs> <laughs> Can't so, believe it walked by the little Yep, chair. you did. I didn't see it. Alright guys, so I'm here at the house. I flipped ten, I flipped some tin here at the house and I reflipped this uh, little juvenile southern black racer. Now I didn't get to film it, I guess I chose not to since I was having problems with my phone, but now I get to show it to you. I was being a little grumpy boy, but it bit me several times and no blood. I mean, guess it can't bite that hard. Actually, there were several uh, fire ants under there and got on my hand, so it actually hurt worse than the bites themselves. I'm gonna see it red on there, but yeah. Little cute southern black racer. All right, guys, so I was actually about to walk into the house and found finally I was uh, FaceTiming Lucas <clears throat> from Lucas's Lizards and I was telling him that I've yet to find uh, a box her on the property this year and just a few minutes later found one and actually this is the one same one from last year this is a repeat find because it has the holes right there so I'm assuming maybe a raccoon or something I would assume um, would try to eat it but yeah it's, it's kind of roughed up a little bit but female uh, three-toe box turtle. Okay, let's just lift this up. This is where I found a speckled king last year Look at that. There's another one and I that's a different one from Last year the one I found last year was a lot bigger than that and it's like overcast and I don't know 60 or 70 something like that Look at that Just at the house Yeah, that's a different one. Ooh, that's a pretty one. I don't even know if it's in shed or out of shed. I can't sell yet, but Speckle King Snake feeds on other snakes. Alright guys, I'm looking at the top here. And I just happened to look back there. And that is a three-toed box turtle. So that's a pretty interesting place for one. I mean, it's a good habitat here. So that's the second one of the year at the house. And my third, or no, fourth. Fourth box turtle. But Alright guys, so we're out here at the house flipping tin. And my sister found this little ring neck. This is a different one. Well, I say little. It's... Pretty, pretty thick one. Um, definitely a different one than I found before. Let's see if I can show you the tail. They're kind of an orange instead of your typical red. So that's definitely a different one than I found. Really pretty too. That's awesome. All right, guys. So I lifted this piece open. And I've never found anything here until today. Another ring neck. I'm not sure if I found this one before. On the head there, you can see the uh, ring is broken. I'm not sure. I don't. I think I found this one. I'm honestly not quite sure. My sister's out flipping some other stuff, so we'll see if she comes up with anything. But this one also has that kind of orange. Sometimes it's more red, but sometimes it's orange like that too. I like that. I dig that. All right, so here is my first Eastern Air Math Toad of the year. After hopping around a bit, I finally set it right down here, and it's been chilling for a little bit. But yeah, very pretty. Uh, species I have not heard them call yet, but now they're starting to become active and I'll probably start hearing them more often, but flipped under a uh, Garbage bag uh, There's a lot of moisture under there. So that's why it was there. But yeah, very cool and underrated species in my opinion Very cute. Oh, did you? I oh, blink you didn't wink at me, but very very neat species All right, yeah, so I just flipped this board on top of this thing, there's the ground. I just decided to flip it up, and I really was not expecting much. We're at an abandoned spot that my friend found on Google Earth, but that's awesome. My third speckle king of the year, and uh, awesome. What an awesome way to find one up here. Might flip another board or two up there, but so there's other things out here, but that's well, a cool way to find one for sure. It's later in the day. I was not expecting. Why are you wrapping around my arm for? That's not very nice, is it? But yeah, that's very, very, very awesome. And this is going to go, probably be the last clip of this video. And yeah, probably see y'all guys later. Actually, that is a monster ring neck compared to that one, which is pretty much the usual size. Look at that. That is a monster. That is huge. That is crazy. How about the other one? But anyways, I'm going to put the board back and uh, keep uh, looking around.